Tattoos. Uh, it's Bill Palmer here. I'm an Australian guitar player uh, and author um, uh, who's actually endorsed by Chavel Guitars here in Australia. I'd like to talk to you today about um, obviously Chavel Guitars. Um, so um, I've been playing them for around two years now. Um, I first came to um, play a Chavel when I was fortunate enough to win one in a local uh, shredding competition called Shredfest. Uh, that's back in 2009. Um, and I won a green one, a slime green one, it was a um, Batch 3 model. As you can see, Chavel guitars um, are based off the Stratocaster shape that we all sort of know and love. Uh, but with a few sort of twists and turns and sort of upgrades that um, sort of enhance the whole sort of vibe of the instrument. Uh, the one I'm playing currently, this is a uh, flat black one hum model. Um, so it was a Batch 8 wildcard. So Charvel basically uh, like released a series of different batches and the uh, different batches had different colours that were uh, specific to that batch and they also had a series of wild cards. Now the uh, wild cards were sort of uh, special one-offs that they did with uh, a, a certain batch. So this was a batch 8 model and it was the uh, wild card. So it's got the one uh, humbucker in it and it's got a flat, back, a flat black finish which is a sort of primer coat finish. Um, a few things that I also really dig about the Chavel guitars is um, pretty much first and foremost with the, the I actually love the more traditional shape of the body. Um, I'm not really into um, bizarre sort of um, inspired shapes. I actually really like these sort of mean potatoes strap telly uh, shapes. I think they, they are great. They uh, work. Um, secondly is I like the fact that the uh, pickups <coughs> are actually mounted straight onto the body or in the uh, rings. There's no sort of scratch plate. I actually really, kind of really like that uh, look and that, uh, that uh, vibe. Um, often they just have the one, um, the one volume control, which is also pretty cool as well. So there's no sort of um, extraneous controls for splitting pickups or kind of, kind of switches. I just like this sort of no-nonsense approach of the uh, lot design. And um, the neck is also um, a great um, part of the Charvel um, sort of legacy. It's got a, uh, a really nice oil finish on it. And the actual uh, neck itself is, I think, what they call a C or a D shape. Uh, I'm not quite sure the actual name of it, but um, it's a really nice neck to play. Um, it's very fast. It's not. Um, it's not a. It's not necessarily a shredder's neck per se, in that it's really thin. Um, but it certainly uh, does lend itself to more to, uh, towards sort of that style of um, playing, where it's, you've got a lot of uh, some mobility up near the neck. Um, Twenty-two frets, as you can see, they're fairly jumbo frets, <coughs> and the neck is what's called. Um, it has what's called a compound radius, in that uh, it starts out at a twelve inch radius which is not a really flat radius, um, but it's not really round either. And then it sort of uh, flattens out to a 16 inch radius the further up the neck that you go. Um, it's got the, uh, the standard kind of six in line uh, tuners on the headstock. And you'll notice it's got a Floyd Rose as well. Um, it's an, um, I've always been a fairly like, traditional um, uh, player as far as um, hardware goes. So I'd, I'd actually never used a kind of Floyd like guitar prior to using my uh, Chavel. Um, and I'd always been told that they sort of kill the tone and they sort of, um, they degrade the uh, sort of woody sound of the instrument. Um, but to be honest, I, I haven't found that to be the case. So I actually would like the sound of a uh, Floyd Rose. It has a very consistent, even sound uh, from your low notes to your high notes, which is actually really nice for like recording. It's also, um, it comes across um, uh, so really well. And I, I, I haven't really found that it uh, kills the tone uh, like at all, to be quite honest. Um, I love the fact that it's very stable. The uh, tuning is very, very stable. Um, and you've got these fine tuners here, which is great. I use, um, Peterson Strobe tuners, and so these these are sort of fine tuners, really like allow you to lock into the um, sort of uh, the like precise nature of that uh, that uh, tuning. Um, yeah, so that's um, I'll grab my green one in, in a second and have a play to that as well. But um, hopefully you can hear um, as I play some clips that they're a great sounding guitar, and I highly highly recommend them. <coughs> and I uh, wouldn't be like endorsing them otherwise. Um, so I'll play a few things. What you heard in the uh, opening track was a forthcoming tune from my uh, album that's out next year called 1111. Uh, it's going to be a, uh, like a double album. That was one of the instrumental tracks. Um, they're actually all instrumental, sorry. That was one of the ensemble instrumental tracks that is going to be featured on that. Uh, it's not finished at all. That's just a demo um, of the tune. Um, so I'll play a few things on uh, the Charvel, both clean and dirty. And um, hopefully you can hear that uh, these are a, a great sounding guitar and well worth uh, time to check out if you have the time.